it's 7.45, the house is starting to wake up because we are hitting the slopes today because we're all working as ski instructors and I thought I should bring you guys on a whole day with me just to see what it's all about. I live in a house with nine other people, so all together we're ten, we're sharing one bathroom, one kitchen, it kind of feels like a hostel. They're all ski instructors as well, so it's very normal to live with other ski instructors. Oh my god, my bed literally just broke. Oh. The houses we live in is not of best quality, as you can tell. Second time the bed breaks. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it for now. I just wanted to tell you guys that I usually always get changed into my work pants, and then the rest were changed up on the mountain. But now it's eight o'clock and we need to go because the van leaves. We're now heading to breakfast. We're working with the hotel, which means that we get breakfast included. I love a breakfast that's already kind of made for me. Also the vans are connected to the hotel, so we get that. Kind of in the deal of being a ski instructor as well. And then we need to get changed because we're having a private lesson today. And I'm having skiing. I usually do snowboard, but today it's skiing. of breakfast and now we're heading to our wardrobe to get changed into our ski gear because we can't ski in normal clothes we have ski uniform We're now waiting on our privates, and Tony's also having a private. And you're singing to Yay! With the small kids. Let's look on the bridge, she's coming now. Where? There. Yeah. Oh my god! Who's gold? There's no gold on there. <laughs> I did not know. My group is a wife and their husband. They haven't been skiing in 15 years. So now they're finally back in the slopes, and I'm just gonna try teach them the basics again and then I think things will fall into place somehow because they already know what to do. Just finished off my first private of today and I'm heading to lunch. A bit over time, sometimes I'm like 15 minutes late or 10 minutes late because I just love skiing with them or snowboarding with them and I don't have the heart to be like, eh, I gotta go. Which probably isn't the best, but here we are. It's now 12 o'clock or 12.15 and I will be heading to lunch, the same place where I ate breakfast. And also, we're in the middle of February, but it looks like we're in April because there's no snow really where I'm walking. It's quite weird and a little bit sad. I am now done with all my lessons today and I'm walking back, getting changed and then I'm going back to where we had breakfast because I need to do a little bit of extra work. It's 3.40 and I actually managed to finish the lesson on time, which is very unusual, but it's progress and I'm very happy about it. After my private, I didn't have time to actually go home because we live 20 minutes away. So I had to stay here and then I'll be here until seven. So I'm having some food here as well. And then from there, I might go to a bar tonight actually. It's um, ski industry is a lot of a bar and drinking, which is not too bad. I just finished my working session and I'm getting picked up by Jan. He is the one guy I actually live with. And now we're going home.
Heißam de Avion. It's currently 10 o'clock and everyone is sleeping. We only played a little bit of Juno and now Jan and I, we don't know what to do. So we're just gonna go for a little walk. But I think that kind of wraps up a day as a ski instructor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Normally we drink a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's, that's, but not today. That's the real life. Yeah, that's actually the real life. I told you guys I was gonna bring you guys to the bar, but we changed our minds. We're not going to the bar. We're going to the bar tomorrow on a Wednesday. <laughs>